Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 31st of 2022. Well, it is titled Starburst Galaxy M94 from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, we do see an example of a spiral galaxy. And we can see the central core almost centered on the image and then the spiral arms stretching away and the dark dust lane and star clouds that are associated with them. However, this is an example of what we call a starburst galaxy, which as you might guess from the name is undergoing a burst of star formation. Now it's not completely throughout the galaxy, it seems to be concentrated in a ring of material. So we see very few of these young stars towards the central regions of the galaxy. And we see a whole big ring of them there. And then in the outer regions, again, very few of them. So it's almost very concentrated in a ring as with this image we taken was taken from the Hubble Space Telescope. Now what could cause something like this and it may have been some kind of uh, issue with the central regions where gravity and perhaps the rotations in the interior caused a wave to propagate out a density wave to propagate outward compressing material and when the gas and dust are compressed that enhances the rate of star formation. So we can get star formation increasing for various reasons. One could be some sort of event here at the center, which seems likely because of the very symmetrical nature of this and the way it seems to have propagated outward. And we can imagine had we looked at this a long time ago that that ring of star material might have been closer to the center. It can also occur when galaxies collide together. And again, their gravitational fields can cause the galaxy, the dust and gas within the galaxy to coalesce into stars. So here we see all those very young blue stars that are present in this ring around them. And again, this, these are measuring them, we can estimate that these stars are very young, about 10 million years old. Now, 10 million years so tends to seem like a long time for us. However, in terms of a galaxy that is incredibly short, our own Milky Way is probably on the order of 10 billion years old. And something that's 10 million years is only one one thousandth the age of our galaxy. So these are relatively short time uh, frames in terms of a galaxy. How do we know they're so they're so young? Well, we can study the types of stars that they are. And many blue stars don't live longer than a few tens of millions of years. And therefore, the fact that we still see them today means they must have formed within the last 10 million years or so. Now, will we be able to continue to watch this propagate out? And the answer is no. And that's because the time frames and the motions are too slow. It takes a long time for things to move through here. So even if we looked at the same galaxy 100 years from now, it would look essentially the same. Things in astronomy just do not change fast enough in general for us to really see any changes over the course of a human lifetime or in many cases over many human lifetimes. So that was our picture of the day for July 31st of 2022. It was titled Starburst Galaxy M94 from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Space Mountain. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.